Hi everyone, this is my first Halloween tutorial, so please bear with me. It was inspired by the Volturi Vampires of the Twilight series, and I kind of made this look up as I went along, so my apologies. Um, I know that the Volturi Vampires have more red to them than plum, but the plum was easier to work with and it showed up better on my face. I hope you guys enjoy it, and I had a lot of fun doing it, and yeah. Happy Halloween! This mix palette, it's, I'm going to take this shade called Rust, and with my 222, I'm going to put some on all over my lid. This is actually really similar to um, Max Burgundy, kind of. I just want this kind of Scarlet Burgundy type of shade. This is 10 bucks for all three shades, and they're really good. So I really recommend buying them. Okay. It kind of looks like a mess right now, but we're not even close to being done, so don't worry about it. Next, I'm taking the 219 brush, I'm going to use that rust shade again, and come underneath. If you want to be really adventurous, you can go like way past that area, but I'm going to keep it conservative for now. Okay, so that's it for that part, and next we're going to take it MAC Carbon. Or any matte black eyeshadow, I'm taking that 217 brush again. Um, I'm just gonna take a swipe and then I'm gonna create, I'm just gonna add it to this area. It doesn't have to be too neat because we're gonna smudge it out into the red. Take that 217 and smudge it onto the red. Take the 217, put it into the black, and get these outer corners. Smudge it up to the top and clean it up a little bit. So I'm um, taking this top shade. Um, it's called Walnut Bronze, I think. Yeah, because the other one's called Gold. And I'm just going to put it around here and smudge. Okay, so now we're going to use a lot more black to intensify this look, and we're going to take Black Track MAC Fluid Line, and this is an angled liner brush from Sephora, like every company has this. This is the number 15. So we're just going to put some on there, and then line 
our upper lid. I'm going to push the color up a bit. And um, make that line using the brush. And we're just going to do a little flick too. I'm just going to blend some more. I'm using my favorite black eyeliner, Sephora Flashy Waterproof. I'm going to line the waterline. And I'm also going to go in and connect this line to my waterline. I see a water kind of weird. And same on the other side. Um, I'm gonna actually intensify it by using a crease brush. This is the 217. I'm gonna dip it into the rest and then put more on. I like making faces. Okay, um, I'm next I'm gonna take my carbon and with the 217 brush, I'm gonna darken it. Just the outer part. I don't wanna go too far in. I'm just gonna smooth it out with a clean brush. This is just a coastal scent one. It's the duet one. Okay, so next I'm gonna use um, Cyber by MAC, which is my favorite new color. It's like this nice, intense dark purple, and yeah, I'm gonna line it with Night Moth. So um, the eyes aren't as intense as I wanted them to be, so I'm going to take Beauty Marked, it's a velvet MAC eye shadow, and using the 217 I'm just going to put it right along here. This is the Halloween section, you can tell them from Halloween because they're in a casket. Um, yeah, these are Fantasy Makers by Wet n Wild. I think they're like $3 or something. And I'm just going to apply those as well as my mascara, so I'll be right back. Um, so that does it for the tutorial, and happy Halloween!